everyone welcome to today's trinity love tuesday and today we are talking about what we are putting into our body to help ensure that what comes out of our body is the best for us so when we're talking about physical things emotional things and spiritual things this applies all across the board so if we start with spiritual we know, we've heard it before, definitely on this channel and just everywhere. The way that you're taking in God, the way that you're taking in the scriptures, the way that you're spending time, devotional time with God, will pour out into how you live every aspect of your life. So the more you taste and see that the Lord is good, your life will show that in every area. So that goes into how you are handling your emotional and your physical health. With emotional health, the things that you are allowing yourself to focus on emotionally. Positive self-talk, treating yourself the way the Bible calls you to treat yourself, not just others, but yourself, is very important. That will bleed out to how you treat others, how you think about others, and how you feel about yourself and the things that you do with yourself the things that you feel confident in doing because you know that it's from God and everything positive all the positive psychology and self-talk and all that it's Jesus <clears throat> Jesus is the one that can breathe that to you and through you and even when it comes to suffering and struggle Jesus is the prime example of suffering and struggle Hello, Resurrection Sunday, and this whole weekend where we were celebrating his sacrifice for us on the cross and him rising, he is the top-notch person when it comes to suffering, okay? So he's an example for that. So even as you're going through things and as you are meditating on his word and meditating on the emotional healthy things that really help you, help you thrive, you are able to go through the suffering differently. And then when it comes to physical, with physical things, it's a lot more cut and dry because when it comes to what we eat and what we physically do with our body as far as working out and movement, we can, we can see results in a different way than spiritual and emotional things. So I like using physical examples because it is, we can see it, it's more tangible and it is sometimes easier to be motivated by physical things. So when it comes to what you're eating, our body was created by God in his image to digest certain things, to embrace certain things within our body so that with our body, we can function at our highest potential. This is also involving movement so it does it is not necessarily hardcore working out but moving your body our bodies were not created to sit down all day our bodies were created to do some type of movement and how you choose to do that is up to you and what your body needs if you have certain fitness goals and you prefer going hardcore and focusing on different things that's one thing but just in general everybody needs to move every day no matter what no matter what your size no matter what so that goes into how just like spiritual health and emotional health, everybody needs it. Physical health, everybody needs it. It is not about losing weight, okay, <laughs> or following certain fitness trends and health trends because it's cute. Our bodies were created to function a certain way and what we feed to it and what we do with it is what is going to determine how well it functions. So focusing on eating the foods that are best for our bodies is what is going to make your body function its best. It is not about losing weight at all. And I know the fitness industry and the dieting industry and all that love to focus on losing this amount of pounds, do this 30 day plan and do this. And if y'all have watched any of my videos when I bring up stuff like this, you all have already gotten the vibe that I am not a fan of quick fixes, little 30-day plans, random detoxes, all this stuff. It is all focused on the wrong thing. Some of those things have a better foundation 
and it does encourage lifestyle change and changes that go beyond just the 30 days. So I'm not necessarily talking about those. I'm talking about the ones that do not address the heart of the matter. So I hope that makes sense and I'm hope, I hope that I'm not rambling. Well, I hope that you understand my rambling. That's a better way to put it. So I just want to encourage us as we are thinking about how we're treating our body in all of those areas of our life, remember that it is very important what we put into our bodies so that how our bodies function will be at its best potential. And that looks different for everybody. Again, I'm going to use physical health because, again, that's the most tangible and easy example for me to use. But eating more vegetables and more things that nourish our body in the way that it needs to be nourished is something that everybody needs. Everybody. It does not matter your shape, size, whether you feel like you need to lose weight, all this other stuff. Everybody needs to do that. The better you treat your body, the better your body will treat you. So treat it good, feed it well, nourish it well spiritually, emotionally, and physically, and it will do you right. It will do you right. And it will change the way it needs to change. So while I do not think it's healthy to specifically focus on weight without addressing the core of the matter, Weight changes will happen as you treat your body the way that it's telling you it wants to be treated. And that just takes more research. That takes you trying things. That takes you maybe cutting out certain things of your diet to see how your body responds to that. If you've noticed yourself feeling tired, either recently or all your life, there might be some foods in your diet that are weighing you down. Food is supposed to energize us. And I know that in the black community, we talk a lot about the itis. And um, food is not supposed to make you tired. That if every time you eat a good meal, a good soul food meal, you are tired and ready to take a nap, chances are the things that were in that meal, that were in that meal, are not the most nourishing things because food is supposed to give you energy. So it's either that the food is weighing you down because there are some ingredients in it that isn't best for your body or you possibly ate too much and now you're literally weighed down because it's too much in your stomach. But um, that can maybe be another video for another day because I can feel myself wanting to go on another rant. So we'll save that maybe for next week. That's all we're going to talk about today. And for those of you who don't know, I do also do a blog on Tuesdays to correspond with this video. So there is more details, different details, a little bit of the same things that I talk about, but in written form and typically with more details and scriptures. So thank you all so much for watching and remember to love always. Bye. I am yours and you are mine.